we start right now, Jackson? We are going to start with a little thing we call this or that. A few quick questions for you, okay? We want to find out what you would like best. Ready? We're going to be quick. Comedy or action? Comedy. Dogs or cats? Dogs. California or North Carolina? California. Oh, that was easy for you, wasn't it? Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Batman or Spider-Man? Batman. The beach or snow? Beach. Blondes or brunettes? Blondes. And the name of your boy, your, your girlfriend? Gabby. Oh, you have ah! a girlfriend. I thought I was going to trick you with that one. Mm. We'll have to ask about Gabby. Oh, yeah. I hear that your co-stars gave you a nickname. What is it? Oh, yeah. Well, the nickname, actually, it's kind of... Some of the co-stars call me J-Man, some of them call me Jackman, it's, yeah. J-Man, Jackman, how about, I heard it was Baby James? Or is that old? That's an old, that's an old that's, nickname. That's an old one, yeah. That's got to be like from last year. Uh, kind of, <laughs> a little bit. Okay, well I also heard that they're not allowed to swear around you. Tell me what that's um, all about. Oh, the swear jar. Well, it all started right at the beginning when I started on the show. It was if any castmate swore they had to give me $20 for my square jar, and I would put that $20 in my bank account for college. And how big is that square jar now? Um, it's really big. Ooh, I want to ask, who is the biggest cast contributor to the square jar? Can you tell us? Chad Michael. Really? Yes. Big swearer? Big funder of the jar? Yes. Contributor for your college education? Yes. That's good for him. He's putting his mouth to a great cause. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's talk about memorizing your lines. Oh, How memorizing. easy is that for you? Well, it's easy in some ways and hard in some other ways. It's hard when I have a really big monologue thing. But the easiest scenes to remember are the ones when I'm asleep and I don't have any lines. Well, those would have to be the easiest because yeah. then you can just dream away. Yeah, dream your exactly. Lines. Lay there and let everybody else do the work. Yeah. So, do your do your cast members in the show? Do they are they jealous of your stardom? You know that you're the big celebrity on the show. Um, not really. Actually, we're we're all really good friends. We all like to hang out with each other. What was it like when you first came into the show, coming into a cast that was already set? Well, when I first met the cast at our table reading, it was, I was kind of nervous because there was so, so many people that were already part of the cast, so I just, I guess I just acted calm, shook, shook their hands, said, hi, my name is Jackson, nice to meet you, and then we just went out. And you were, what, four years? Five, uh, five years I was just about to turn six, yeah. So did they welcome you with open arms? Yeah. Because you're the only kid on the show. What's that like? Well, it's it's really, for them, it's a lot of fun. Because, <laughs> for them. <laughs> yeah, for them it's a lot of fun because now they have an excuse to play around and act like kids because there's a kid around on the show. <laughs> So you give them a chance to have some fun. Yeah. Well, what about for you, having no other kids to play with? Well, it's it's kind of lonely, I guess, a little bit. But it's fun working with all of the adults. Do your friends get to come to set? Um, not not mostly. My brother and sister come to set, but not my friends. Okay. So Jackson, when did you know that you wanted to be an actor? Well, kind of wasn't, I wasn't, kind of wanted to be an actor, but because I was just a little, I was just a little kid, I was like three years old. So we got, I got a manager and I got a um, agency. So the manager got me, we went in to take some headshots and then we would, Pass them, pass them around to see if I could you get any auditions. You, and then uh, by the time that I was, was five, okay. I kind of 
I got the audition for One Free Hill. So you started, so two years later, yeah. you landed your big hit. Did you realize how big it was going to be? No, not not really. During the day? I, I really didn't know what One Tree Hill was. Do you remember your first audition as a kid? Oh, my first audition. At three years old? Three years old. My first oh, okay. audition, I think, was... Huh. It was... I have to say it might have been Einstein yeah. House. Your first audition? Yeah, kind of. And then I did, I got an audition for um, the TV show Las Vegas, and I did an episode on that. So did auditioning get, does auditioning get easier for you? Yeah. I know that you've been on One Tree Hill for quite some time now, but you remember being out there with the rest of the actors, going oh, yeah. in with all the kids, yeah. going through the whole audition process. Yeah. yeah. What was the most nerve-wracking part for you? Oh, probably... This movie I tried out for that was, and there was a scene that was, that was, it was three pages of me just talking, and it was three whole pages of a speech that I had to remember. Wow. That was for an audition? How old were you? I was nine, actually. I was not too long ago, actually. Hey, that's tough stuff, even for an adult, right? Yeah. But you did it at nine years old. Yeah. All right. So were your parents supportive? Of your acting career? Oh yeah, my parents. My parents are really supportive. My mom especially, because she's the one who always goes with me to North Carolina back in back and forth. So they're really supportive. Tell me about life in North Carolina versus life here in California, where you grew well, up, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, here in North, I mean California. <laughs> it's. It's just basically doing school and living a normal life, hanging out with my friends, playing some sports and stuff. And then in North Carolina, it's work, 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 work every work. day. Yeah. So school, do you, when you're here in California, do you attend school or do you homeschool? Oh, well, um, when we were doing the fifth and sixth season, mostly in the sixth season at the beginning, I was going to a school right up here um, called Stevenson Ranch, and whenever I was here, I would go there, and then whenever I was in North Carolina, I would have a teacher that would, like, give me some math facts. Set um, teacher? Yeah, set teacher. Like most of the big Hollywood kids, right? Yeah. <laughs>